goalkeepers not running for the Netherlands, incidentally, in the first league, which has been won by uh, Portugal in Norway. As we look at uh, Paula Sevilla for Spain, outside Gloria Hooper running for Italy in lane eight, and then carrying Polish Holtz, but uh, perhaps not quite at the level of some of the Polish athletes we've seen in their events today, running so well and winning so many events. Uh, Anna Kielbasinska will be hard pushed to keep pace with the likes of Jody Williams. The race is outside the British system now, based in, in Phoenix in Arizona. And uh, Mujinga Kambunji, she's worked with quite a few coaches now with Steve Fudge, based in London. And uh, Jessica Bianca Vesely, silver in the World Student Games last month, and close to going below 23 seconds this year, has dipped below that mark. Uh, last year she did so. Rafaela Spanodaki Hatsariga getting ready for her fifth race of the weekend, running in the heats of the 100 and the final, and in the relays, and Hanna Marie Latvala of Finland. And nine athletes in this women's 200 metres because Latvala and uh, Marussia Pari of France both recorded exactly the same time, 23.577. So down to the thousandth of a second, they could not be separated. So nine through to the final. Incidentally, neither Ukraine nor the Czech Republic got an athlete through to the final. They are the two countries battling around seventh place, battling around the relegation zone. But Jody Williams, what a good time it is for women's 200 meter running. Dean Asher Smith, Amy Hunt, Beth Dobbin have all run faster than Jody Williams this season, but she has a great chance of taking the title, taking 12 points here. Paré goes for France, but Jody Williams in lane six in the women's 200 meters. Sir. See how she attacks the first 100 metres, Jody Williams just outside Kambunji, who's a quick starter, but uh, Jody Williams moving up alongside Kiel Basinska of Poland and cruising past, and how does she slingshot off the bend, as Adam Jamili was suggesting, moves nicely, but Kambunji is still there, and Kambunji is pushing alongside Jody Williams, and the Swift actually coming past at the moment, and Jody Williams trying to get back there, but it is Kambunji who's going to take it just ahead of Jody Williams, 22-72. And a bit of a headwind in the home straight as well. A very impressive run from uh, Kambunji because that's a big season's best. And she takes the victory and a little bit of a surprise there. As Jody Williams didn't run a bad race, but Kambunji was simply better and simply stronger in the last 50 metres and takes the 12 points for Switzerland. Yeah, Jody got up the blocks really well, didn't she? Very aggressive, that first 10, 15, 20 metres, setting herself up indeed for that slingshot as she comes off the bed, but Kambunji really just paced it a little bit better. Had always Jodie in her sights to see exactly what she could do, and it's now at this stage Kambunji puts her foot down on that pedal and feels that she's gaining quite quickly on Jodie, and that gives her a little bit more confidence to believe in what she's capable of doing. Remember, Kambunji is a quality athlete, very fast at her top end, and to come here into a relatively stiff breeze to set the season's best, tells us that she's going in the right direction. Lisek of Poland, final chance of 6.03. Well, he's close, isn't he? I mean, he's in, clearly in massive shape, <laughs> celebrating all the same, and it was a great performance and a win, 5.81. Enough to take the win and top points for Poland. 6.03, not meant to be, but with the world champs and the event in such great form globally, American Kendricks, 6.06 world lead. He's going to need all of what he's capable of to contend for the uh, the top spot in the world championships, but it's a win for Lisek and a solid performance. Another win for the Polish team. That's what you want at home, isn't it? Home crowd, entertaining a home crowd with some home success. So you'll have noticed the women's shot there behind as well as we look at confirmation of that pole vault. Poland, 12 points again, going strong. Lisek adding to their tally. Jakobsen, a good backup. 
jumper for Sweden, Francis Lavillani. Well, he's won this multiple times this event, but has to settle for third place. Great Britain's Charlie Myers, 5.31 and three points. So the pole vault will be cleared. I think the shot putters will be uh, pleased with that as we look across to the team standings and the addition of those pole vault points pushes Poland even further, untouchable, probably over 30 points ahead of France now. Great Britain in that fifth place with exactly the same points as Spain. Just rounding up the 200 metres and having a look at it once again, and it's actually it's been a it was a good run by Jody Williams because we're looking at the times and into that uh, metre per second headwind in the home straight, it was a decent run by Jody Williams, a quick time, but it was just a little bit better, a little bit stronger from Kambunji. Yeah, I think Kambunji as they say, is rounded into nice form now, isn't she? Each race she's stepping up, preparing herself for Doha because she knows how tough the competition is going to be there. But Jody again in back-to-back -back good strong performances and she doesn't look too distressed here on the left of the screen running that 22.89 I think she's enjoying her running again when you're injury free it makes a big difference I think she's talking now to Jeanette 